All right, berries top the list of people's favorite fruits, and they are full of nutrients to support a healthy diet. But did you know that strawberries are the most chemically intensive grown fruit in California? So that concerned me because I don't want to eat pesticides because I believe if you're going to try to attack the nervous system with just the insecticides, they're also fumigating, pre-emergence, there are up to 54 chemical in, uh, pesticides that were found on strawberries. So that is why you definitely have to go organic. But here's just a couple tidbits. I'm going to go through some good information after this little explanation. But I ended up buying two packages of strawberries. And this is a California produced strawberry out of Watsonville, California. And remember that name for later. And I bought, this is the conventional one, and then I also bought these Driscoll's, which is the number one uh, fruit producer, organic, USDA organic. And this is out of Mexico, and there's a reason for that also. So let's explain. Uh, first of all, the reason why I now my post Fukushima shopping is I try to avoid, avoid anything that's coming out of the state of California. So believe it or not, I try to find organic produce out of Mexico. And it sounds like uh, backwards compared to what we were talking about uh, 10, 20 years ago about like, yeah, don't buy anything from Mexico, you know. But there are reasons why you have to buy stuff from Mexico now instead of the uh, West Coast. And that's called radiation. But let's go over this real quickly. I end up calling the uh, line because they actually state on the uh, Driscoll's little package there that if you have, actually look at that, the Driscoll's are also out of Watsonville. Okay, so if, if there's a little sign over here that I end up calling, as a matter of fact, I don't know where it is, I think it's on their website, but I end up calling their name, their, um, their little line if you want, if you have questions about their products, so I call Driscoll's about the very question that I'm asking about was which pesticides are being used if any on their organic ones and also on their conventional ones because Driscoll actually grows both of the uh, conventional strawberries and the organic strawberries and basically what she told me was that the organic strawberries the only thing they use as a pesticide are ladybugs it's called a bug, a bug vat so she, I definitely specifically asked whether they're using uh, synthetic or natural pesticides on the strawberries. And she told me that it was only ladybugs are the only form of insecticide that is being used on the organic strawberries. So I asked about where I could find the list of pesticides that are used on their conventional ones and she told me that I would have to go check the FDA website for the, uh, and the, I think she said the EPA, but definitely probably the FDA that has a list of approved pesticides. So Driscoll is using pesticides on their conventional um, uh, grown strawberries. So keep that in mind. So can you guess which one's which? All right. These... The bottom two rows are the Driscoll's, the organic one. And the top one is the California grown strawberry. And the reason why, now this one's totally loaded with pesticides. And we're going to go through the list of what can possibly on here. They're saying that there is nothing on this whatsoever. Another thing is I think they're actually growing two different varieties and I could tell by the, sh the size of that little top over here, that leafy top. This one's way bigger. And the other thing is what I wanted to say was mutations. These are all grown in California, uh, no, in Mexico, the bottom two rows. And if you notice, 
they're all pretty uniform and they look like a regular strawberry and I know some of them look flat like this one but what I noticed is they didn't have any of these and these are all grown in California now this is a mutation right here see how it's two strawberries that are melded together and actually there's a bunch of them I found in here here's a semi one that's starting you can see the little dimple in there and actually then here's two more they look like little butts but this one is the most uh, well defined one so is this a natural mutation or is this a mutation that's induced by that radiation that's coming down from the fallout of Fukushima because there is a ton of it I don't know but I think that is what I kinda of first thought of why isn't there not one dimpled strawberry coming out of Mexico but the ones grown in California there's actually five of them in the uh, package same size package so I don't know if there's a correlation there or what we could say about that but I thought that was an inter interesting observation and definitely the strawberries the organic strawberries smell way more uh, like fruity a very sweeter strawberry smell but let me ask you this before we go to the uh, uh, ingredients of the pesticides and remember pesticides will attack the nervous system so uh, my guess is where do you think uh, diseases like Parkinson's and diseases of the nervous system come from it's from an accumulation of pesticides herbicides fungicides all these kinds of uh, or more or less I should say the insecticide because that's what's attacking the nervous system to kill the insect all right pesticides that are allowed to be on the organically grown strawberries and pesticides that are grown on conventional strawberries okay so which strawberry would you rather eat a strawberry that has no insecticides or pesticides whatsoever has no chemicals in it and it's just straight up fruity flesh or do you mind eating a strawberry that contains cancer causing chemicals so especially for children they probably are more susceptible to do more damage to the body because they're smaller but when you think about it it's way healthier to eat an organic strawberry so do away with cancer causing mutated strawberries and eat an organic strawberry you'll taste the difference okay so it'll be maybe a dollar or two more a package but just remember when you're 70 or 80 years old or even younger because people are getting cancer at earlier ages that this actually an organic strawberry might uh, prevent illness and cancer to you so I think that is a worthwhile investment if you have any questions yourselves ask them and there's the number right there for Driscoll's the number one berry producer so if you care about your health I would say eat organic but if you want to ask some questions there's the number
One of the main reasons why I choose to eat organic strawberries over conventional strawberries is I really don't trust that the farmers are mixing their concentrated pesticides to the tea. You know when you're doing your own uh, probably weed killer in your own backyard, the people that are buying the concentrate, how many of you are actually taking your measuring cup to the tea and getting the correct amount? I'd say 99% of you are, but there's still going to be that 1% of the farmers that are going to eyeball it. So with 1.7 billion pounds of strawberries that are being harvested in uh, California by 400 family farms, I believe that the amount that they're actually testing is just minuscule. So it's basically what they say a crapshoot that you may get some of these pesticides that may actually contain an illegal pesticides also remember because there have been far there has been a farm and there probably are farms out there that are using illegal pesticides so with organic there's not going to be any pesticides actually except for dristal which says they use the ladybugs but that is very important why you need to eat organic strawberries. There are no chemicals in it. And if there are, they're not going to be synthetic, which is the key to eating organic.